if you guys remember from last time, we kind of entered a kind of dimly uh, dark, uh, sort of decrepit area where a ghostly figure was holding some old sludgy wine, looking into a will-o'-wisp. And uh, you actually see in that same will-o'-wisp this time, um, as our heroes, they act, well, you know, heroes, uh, they actually have a very intense and short battle with this blood mist, this like skeletal coagulation of blood that kind of goes between mist and a more solid form that it would try and slash and drain and you know it's a it's a very intense fight they they hang in there but they do manage to actually come out on top as uh one of our group manages to jam his torch into the beast lighting it aflame as it dissipates into the air and uh you kind of just hear as this ghostly figure just has a slight chuckle and uh, just swirls her glass. And you then hear another voice come through. Um, and we once again see this form, this like writhing maggots and worms somehow forming some semblance of a face that reports, um, we're ready to fire, my lady. Go ahead. And uh, he... We don't really see what he does. We just see him kind of turn his face in the wisp. And uh, then as she looks back upon our group, they had a few of them had made their way down the tower. And Jones, this skeletal figure that she's seeing, uh, had been kind of trying to tinker with the lantern in the middle of the gauntlet keep, the lighthouse. And uh, after he fires a crossbow bolt at the lantern, um, the light, actually, the tower comes alive and we see as this sort of spectral energy channels up around and through the tower writhing and like it goes around the pillars and shoots at this lantern which then fires off this uh, pale blue beam down towards the town of Otari and Jones is able to make out that this beam seems to be centered dead on the cemetery. Um, to the west and up on the cliff above Otari. Um, and our heroes then decide to make their way down, and they had just left Gauntlet Keep uh, as uh, the ghostly figure just kind of watches on, kind of lets out a, a slight, hmm, just of some sort of intrigue. And uh, we will then go back to them. But before we do, uh, welcome everybody to Swindler's Den Presents Abomination Vaults. Um, sorry it's been a little while. Thanks for being patient. Just had to take care of some stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm Mior. I'll be the Game Master. And first up on the layout, we have my wonderful player, Lordimus. Oh, thank you. I'll make sure to derail the campaign. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Lordimus or Tommy Taco, whichever you prefer to call me. I play Kor, uh, Dreskar, he is a orc ranger. I forgot what he was for a second. <laughs> Didn't we all with almost everything about this game? <laughs> Next up, Damn. we have the fabulous Grizzlock. How's it going? I'm so fab. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm Grizzlock. You can find me on YouTube under that same name as well as on Twitch where I do stream video games. Um, just beat Baldur's Gate. It was a great time, uh, and we're on to to new new things. Uh, anyways, today I'll be playing Jones Bones, the investigator extraordinaire, skeleton man, um, who it, who's gonna die with like just the slightest flick of a finger at him because he's got no HP. He says as he has temp HP from the necrotic energy. Yes, yes. Um, sorry, I mean in general terms. Yes, yes, yes. Like statistically, <laughs> he has low HP. Yes, uh, we do believe the turkey vulture has more than he does now. Next up, we have the fantastic Genji. <laughs> Hi, I'm Genji. I play Limbo, the goblin cleric. Uh, no socials, but I am on other stuff in Swindler's Den. And last but not least, we have the amazing Baka Zombie. 
You're overplaying me, sir. Hello, <laughs> I'm Baka Zombie. Uh, currently, Mother Nature's trying to kill me by slowly closing my throat, so unfortunately, Go Kill's voice won't be used tonight because <laughs> I hurt to do. Um, but I do play Go Kill, the Noel Barbarian, with his uh, his trusted bird companion, Birdie. Uh, if you if you want to see more of my stuff, follow me on Twitter at Zombie Baka. Yep, and if you like what you see, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment on everything I did wrong and how my players are all amazing. And also, uh, who you think maybe should get an extra hero point. That's not necessarily officially yet, but hey, you know, maybe I'll take it in consideration. And uh, don't forget to also check out uh, Glory of the Giants, and I believe by the time this comes out, Spelljammer has either just arrived or is right around the corner, so don't forget to check that out as well. Uh, but now, let's get back to the party, as they have just left the keep and entered Fogfin Swamp. Presumably on their way south to Otari. You know, perhaps we should just quit this whole, this whole mission altogether. Seems a little bit over our pay grade. Well, I thought we, we solved our mission. That's true, we do have to get paid. But what, Wait. what was that light again? Does anyone know where it's pointing? Oh yes, um... So that light, uh, fired directly upon... The graveyard over Otari. <laughs> oh, uh. Yes, it's, um... Not a good thing. What do you suppose it's doing? Do you think it's doing like that painting we saw? I believe so. I believe that this light is reanimating the dead. As, so, um... Wait, wait a minute. Uh, while you were up there, you didn't... You didn't activate this light, did you? I heard... I heard a lot of... whooshes. You, you kind of sound like you were a bit in ecstasy there. You... You didn't... perhaps do anything, did you? No, no, I I did nothing. However, the light did feel good against my bones. I mean, you were the only one up there when this happened. I cannot recall. It's been some time. <laughs> but yes, I, I, I suppose. It's been like 20 <laughs> minutes. Yes, yes. Um, It felt like forever <laughs> upon that light's... Touch. Well, well, uh, I guess we should go get paid at least and have our bear pizza. Right, um. I just realized that's why we had bear pizza. <laughs> no, you never put that together, huh? I didn't, because I'm an idiot. I heard Man. pizza and I looked at Maddie and was like, can we have pizza tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and I ordered pizza. <laughs> Yeah, I'll um, I'll say as you guys like if anyone kind of looks up at all, you can like clearly see this beam of light like headed to the south, and you like if you kind of look closely enough, you can actually almost like see it's like kind of writhing. And you like maybe almost occasionally see what maybe looks like fingers like along the edge of it here and there, and kind of you can even faintly hear just a hum, but also almost maybe like. A cacophony of moans if you listen closely enough. Oh. Well, I hope they have a town guard. <laughs> um, yes, we should probably hurry up and get down there. Uh, you know, I'd normally say job done, but Rin is down there and I do owe quite a bit to her, so we should at least go save her. Cordis shrugs his shoulders and then reaches over and grabs this dead bear and throws it over his shoulder. <laughs> uh, oh no. Um, alright, yeah. I yeah start you trekking guys. along. Start trekking along. Through uh, the fog fan. Through the fog fan. Um, okay, yeah, you guys begin to make your way south. Um, are you kind of just, like, following the path directly to town, or are you, like, kind of trying to keep this, like, beam in vision or anything like that? Um, because Probably. I... Oh, sorry, okay. go ahead. 
I was gonna say because I saw where it was pointing, I don't think we need to like keep it in in vision, right? Yeah. Yeah. Unless... No, it's it's probably fun. Like, cause you you guys have also seen the town, so like you know where the cemetery is. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure we took this same trail that we're taking back when we were coming up here. So. Might as well just That's true. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. Um, all right, sweet. So yeah, you guys start to head down the trail. Um, let me just get back to Atari. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you guys make your way through the swamp, uh, you know, obviously hearing little chitters here and there and swirls in the water and stuff, but you do eventually get through the, uh, the swamp of Fogwin, or Fogfin uh, before you do enter the woods north of Otari. And as you guys begin to make your way down the path, um, you do get closer to Otari. And just to kind of like remind, uh, just because I guess we haven't really technically been uh, to Otari yet since we started along the way. So let me just take us here really quick to give us kind of an idea of uh, what Otari looks like. Um, so essentially it is a kind of smaller fishing village along the coast of uh, the something isle. I'm blanking on it right now, but it is near, it's a, like a two days ride from Absalon. So it's very close, uh, but it is a smaller fishing village. And essentially like the base of the town is kind of like down in this like little cove. Um, and like a, a major feature of Otari is this like very large log chute that uh, is able to like carry timber from further in the woods down this hill and like straight to the boats where it needs to get loaded. Um, and then the the graveyard is actually kind of like on a cliff side up to the west side of the village. Uh, but uh, let's just go back to our actual map. Um, so as you guys make your way down the path, uh, you guys essentially uh, are kind of at like an impasse, essentially. Uh, you know that you can follow Phrasma's Walk to the south to head to the graveyard, or uh, if you guys continue to the northeast, uh, you could eventually make your way kind of around uh, the more steep cliff face and down into the town. And you also technically are somewhat near to Stone Ring Pond, um, which Core would be a little more familiar with. How Is everyone else still on the landing? Oh, I'm so yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I didn't activate it. Here That's we go. Right. <laughs> um, so, how long did it take us to get to this point since that beam? Uh, so, been... yeah. So, to get down here, this would have taken roughly, I would probably say about... Um, Maybe like 30 minutes or so. It's not okay. incredibly it's not far. That bad. It's not that bad. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, it's not, only not 1,300 feet. Okay. Yeah, we're going to ignore those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reminded me of something else. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's been about a half hour. Um, and I will say, uh, as you guys uh, begin to approach... Um, you do hear kind of like faint wails and like kind of like some some screams and like crashing maybe even as you get a little bit closer you maybe see like a little bit of smoke coming from town like things are uh getting interesting <laughs> like the town or the graveyard uh there is a kind of loud like cacophony of moans and stuff coming from the graveyard but there is also quite a bit of commotion coming from town as well. Um, although it's like a little bit, you know, it's not super easy to hear in like from your guys current position. You're still like, I don't know, a couple football fields away, I guess. I don't know, something like that. We um, get closer to the main road. What? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Should we get closer to the main road? Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, should we go? Should we go to town? Well, I mean, what we go to that town? It, from what it sounds like, I, I think they already uh, know that the uh, undead are there. Yes, but um, we could at least try to make sure Rin survives. Well, or we could cut it off at the source of the graveyard. Hmm. How? 
How do you suppose we do that? You know, I read Kill this one book. Dead bodies. I, I, I read this one book actually. Um, it was about this this gang and their uh, their canine. Uh, uh, apparently, one of them had the best idea to constantly split up. What, what do we think about that? <laughs> um, it didn't almost go too well when we split up in that castle. No, oh, but Great. but we we got out alive. All right, so maybe splitting up's not the best idea. Well, if we go to the graveyard, my thoughts are there's no guarantee we can put an end to the summonings. But if we group up with um, the militia down there, you know, we can fight alongside them. Do you think but Rin might know a way to stop this then? Perhaps. All right, well, I, I'm for going to the town then. Just shrug. It's a tough decision either way. It's very tough. But again, I this guy in his book seemed very confident about splitting up. <laughs> we go down there and it turns out they're just having a party. <laughs> <laughs> like, they like yeah. they had their own little version of like the Super Bowl and they're all just like rioting. <laughs> go kill. Uh, your opinion's the one that matters the most here right now. So you either shake your head yes or no. Would you, uh, you could also have Birdie for answer for you as well. <laughs> yeah, Which, or I guess you could that. do our own vote. Do you want to go to the graveyard? Let's go to town, I think. Okay, <laughs> town. Town it is. Fight them back towards the graveyard. Yo, okay, well, you're... I don't know about your voice. You're, it's... It's different. Let's not bring it up. <laughs> you sound <laughs> very civilized <laughs> tonight. <laughs> yeah, I hit my head. <laughs> in my head. <laughs> All right, let, that Bonky solves that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. You. Oh, whoops. That's the wrong thing. Oh, look. The beams uh, are already guys... going away. We're fine. Wow. Um, yeah. You guys head a little bit further down. You kind of come to the cross section uh, where you obviously you see further down in the graveyard, and you can also kind of see in town. And uh, hey, is that a little yeah. pond right there? Uh, that is a little pond. How <laughs> high up are we right now? <laughs> as as you like... just pointed out the pond, I knew where it was going. <laughs> oh my god. Um, like how okay. high up would you say that is? So, I would say, um, due to the fact that I actually do have something very similar uh, So you're ready here. for it. It's, it's only 50 uh, feet. I wasn't... Absolutely, <laughs> ready, but, uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 where? Yeah, okay, because there's literally somewhere here where they talk about this cliff a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll say that. Uh, I don't know. It's like a, well, like a hundred feet. How about that? Yeah, that sounds about right. Don't know how deep that little pond is. Uh, this pond you probably wouldn't because uh, this uh, place here is actually someone's personal manor, so you wouldn't have Bro, been is this, back here yet. It's literally called Snitch Street. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> snitches get stitches. I give the people's elbow <laughs> off the cliff. <laughs> All right, yeah, never mind. All right, long way it is. All right. Oh, yeah. And I was just going to say, like, as you guys kind of look down in town, uh, you can, you know, pretty clearly see that there are like little scatterings of people. There's like a like a guard here to there and there's a couple of people kind of running about and they the guards do seem to be at least trying to uh, fight off. You see various scatterings of like skeletons and zombies. These undead have risen and are kind of just causing chaos in this town right now. We can get down there quicker. I have rope and pittance and a hammer if we wanted to just climb down. Uh, yes, if you, if you think that would be quicker, that may be for the best. Well, I think this road goes for quite a while before we have to, we're able to get yes, down and there. And then if we have to come up to the cemetery again, it might, you know, we'll leave the rope. Oh, um, I might need I someone else's rope. I only have 50 feet. Oh, my. <laughs> I I uh, I will also I'll make labels for these later. 
Um, but you guys would for sure know that like Rin's little encampment she has is right here. Um, you would know that the uh, the guard house is right around here somewhere. Oh, you'd know that the mayor's house is over here. And then the, the main garrison for the town guard is over here. I, I could spare another 50 feet of rope. Yes, I'm not even sure I have rope. It's okay. Um, thank you, Limbo. And I'm going to tie the two ropes together real fast. Oh, I do have rope. <clears throat> That's you want um... something for that? Are you about to say bones? Let's um, let's put the rope just a little bit past so that it doesn't land in their backyard there, just in but, case. Uh, okay, I guess that's fair. <laughs> or we can go down a little bit. That would get us closer to the graveyard. Maybe right here on this eastern wall, or sure. western wall. Yes, yes. Well, then all we right. have to go all the way around to get to Rin. So, oh, you know, true, it doesn't matter true, that much. True. Let, let's just go over here. Okay, yes, yes. I cannot move. Oh, that's why. Yay! <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm going to tie these ropes together. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And I have uh, a hammer. I do have a hammer. And I have to. Oh. Ooh, a hammer. I a head. Well. a head when I create nice. this character. Nice. All right, give me a I give me like a minutes. secret. Give me give me a secret survival check. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, okay, let's see. So I should be able to do that under skills, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. And, and where then... is the? That's public. So private. Uh, no, it'd be blind. Blind GM. Okay. Yep. Well, what if I still want to see it? I thought that what, uh, uh, two. Frackle in bed. My bad. It's not uh, you. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, you uh, you tie the ropes together uh, to the best of your ability, and I mean they do appear to be. Uh, it's a good knot. You are an outdoorsman. Why don't trust this knot suddenly? No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna. I'm actually given the weight of everything. Uh, I'm gonna attach the rope to four pittance. Oh, okay. I can all and like spread them out to help like weight dis distribution. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, yeah. Because I, I can always um, pick them up later, so I'll go ahead and subtract them for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good to me. Uh, well, I'll go first and shit my rope in case it breaks. Sounds and uh, I'm also really heavy, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go down. I'm going to scale this thing. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Sick. Right. I have to ask, what are um, we doing with Briggle? Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but <laughs> what we I forgot what about we Briggle. Do we think that the undead would eat him? Just covering him up with leaves. I mean, I think the undead would more, be more concerned about in actual people. If they were cared about undead, they would just eat themselves, right? Perhaps. Or if there's some sentient creature controlling this ray, they may all be aligned, you know, without knowing. Well, I'll, I'll come back for him. All right, we, we have to hurry. I'll leave my chair with Briggle. Oh yeah, you got that chair tied Yo, here. Oh my god, we sit Briggle <laughs> in the chair like yeah. <laughs> Give him a little make give him a makeshift crown. Oh I'll sing it there. Thing. <laughs> Quickly fashion a crown house sticks and leave. Alright, while they're doing that I'm gonna climb down. Alright. I, I had to give us a little ambiance as the town is being attacked. Um, okay, yeah, uh, just go ahead and do an athletics check. I won't make you do one for every five damn feet. That'd be so annoying. So Does we'll it need to be private like or? No, this is normal. And that's going to be under skill, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Athletics. Hope it grow. Love me, baby. Nice. Yes. 26. Yeah. It was so close to landing on uh, the one. I know. 
<laughs> yeah, and we'll say also that that's a crit success as well. So oh. you are able to oh. like double time it down that wall, and your rope held just fine. And you're pretty sure like you and Go Kill are the heaviest of the group, so yeah, you know it's a good knot. All right. All right. So what? I I probably traveled. What would you say? Forty feet. Hmm. Uh. No. I, or am so... I down at the bottom? Yeah, I'm. I'm letting you go down the whole way. You're just okay. able to do it really okay. fast. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and move my way over there, so I'm not everyone's way. Especially like you should with the be able to draw the, something on this map, right? Uh, yeah, you should be able to. Okay. While they're doing that, I'm gonna make try and make a little note of where this rope is. Oh, at. smart, smart. All right, I'll go yeah. there. All right, give me the athletics there. Little oh, limbo. Nice. Athletics. It's not acrobatics, it's athletics. Yep, athletics. Mm -hmm. Why don't I see it under my skills? Am I blind? Why don't you see I am it blind. Under okay, there it is. I'm I'm blind, don't worry about me. I wear glasses I got for a reason. You. Oh man! That also is a crit success. You're able to just whoosh, whoosh, climb down that rope super quickly and easily. Uh good old I mean you're skilled and core did a good job. Go You'll kill. probably have to do that. I can't. I can't make a mark on the map. Go kill. I'm gonna go next because I'm pretty sure the next one to go next is going to fail. Is right. it a permissions thing? <laughs> no, I can probably let like a little journal tab out, but I'd have to add a page to our journal. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I get. Yeah, I can't do that. Thanks. <clears throat> okay, I am going to roll athletics to go down this thing. Maybe I'm not seeing it. There's a there's like a freehand one. It's under the pencil. Like yeah, I don't have a pencil. pencil I don't have a oh, pencil. Oh, interesting. On. Okay. How's a sixteen do? Oh, uh, that's a success. You're Let's able go. to make it down. Yeah, like not quite as fast, but yeah, you're able to watch your step and not fall. I'm sorry, go Karen. I miscalculated. Go <laughs> kill. <laughs> <laughs> nice and uh, go kill able to climb down nice and easy as well y'all did a very good job with this rope go in the house go kill <laughs> yeah bust in <laughs> he just jumps halfway from the rope busts through the ceiling <laughs> superhero lands in the kitchen all right now to rins Rush. is rin that all tiefling right. woman yes i'm gonna ask Lambo. oh Sorry. What? Yes. Bones. Oh. Bones answered the question. Oh. Yes, thing. Bones has good hearing. I thought Bones. I was being quiet. <laughs> no, Bones has incredible <laughs> healing. Hearing. Hear, for like no years. I don't understand All it right. either. <laughs> Maybe it's your eye. Perhaps. All right. Let's double time it. We're hoofing it. All right, yeah, you guys uh, go through the little bit of houses over here and start crossing the bridge. And uh, as you guys make it over to the other side of the bridge, you do see like further down the street that uh, there are people like fighting uh, here and there, guards and whatnot. And as you get a little bit closer to Riz or Rin's Rin's Riz. Uh, tent, <laughs> yeah, Riz. As you get further, the a ball. little bit closer to uh, Rin's tent up here. Oh, oh my God, she's a giant. Dude. <laughs> I don't remember her being this long. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. Maddie oh, just gave it. me the just a look. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, whoops, she ain't that small. I think I made you guys 0.5. Uh, but yeah, as you guys get a little bit closer, just to remind you, uh, Rin is a tiefling elf. Uh, she, you know, kind of uh, pale skin, got her horns coming off. She's in robes of uh, what would appear to be some sort of cleric or wizard. And as you guys approach, you see she's like kind of gesturing for people to like get behind her as they like back up into um, her tent. And uh, she fires off um, a, uh, oh my, yeah, she fires off a spell that is able to essentially burn the few zombies in front of her as they just um, kind of incinerate in a holy light. 
and uh, she sees you guys and says, Oh, it is good you have come. Well, uh, what happened at the keep? That. The light. <clears throat> oh, all of a sudden here, they, they, they undead. They started coming from the graveyard, and I, I've heard well that they, they fell into the temple and started coming from the south. Uh, the guard are scattered across the, the, the town. So I've been able to hide a few refugees in my, in my tent, but things are not looking great right now. How, how did things look up there? I assume from where you came from, you must, must be at least from the woods, maybe? Were you, were you above on the cliff, near the, the pond? Oh, yes, by the graveyard. Oh, what, what did you see there? We, we uh, didn't go there. Oh. Dear, I... Bones wanted to make sure you were safe. Yes, I, uh... I, wanted to make sure your safety, but also we thought you might know what to do. It seems that that light from the lighthouse is some sort of necrotic energy bringing the undead to life. Oh, dear. Oh, um... Well, I mean, things... things are quite chaotic here. Hey, is there any is there any chance that you could, by chance, um, huh? investigate the the graveyard? I guess oh, I son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I I, I, I think you. possibly maybe maybe if you could help me get these people to the 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 garrison first, uh, I look, would not, appreciate it. Not, not to be needy here or anything. Um, it's against my religion, but you you don't have any types of clues or ideas what we could possibly do at the graveyard to make this trip a bit worthwhile. I, I mean, if this is the origin point of where the undead are coming from, I presume you would find it more when you got there, but I, I do know, I had heard that uh, Captain Long said there, he, he sent a few men to guard the entrance. Uh, I, 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 I pray they're still alive, if I am yeah. honest. Well, if not, well, we'll take care of them, should still probably be coming back anyway. But do you believe the origin point is the graveyard, or would be... The light, the lighthouse. Uh, I mean, obviously, this probably did not happen until, uh, presumably, you say this light came, and I assume that did this happen in the past thirty minutes or so? Because yes. that's when we start to hear the screams here. Um, I, I mean, I assume this does have something to do with that. Then, uh, I, if I guess I was right on seeing the lights um, at the lighthouse. Um, Jones was in the, the chamber by himself, and then whenever we all left, the light shot out, didn't he? Yeah, it was... So I don't know what happened. We oh, heard, yeah, uh, like, moans know? and screams of ecstasy, so I... Oh. I, I just don't know what's just kind of going on in there. He said, it feels great, you guys should try it. But we were pretty hurt. We kind of didn't want to go inside. The necrotic energies from the lighthouse... It healed my wounds. Oh. Oh, dear. Um, well, you are held together by energies such as that, so I suppose that makes sense. Yes, well, um, which leads me to my next question. Do you think there's any chance that uh, these zombies and skeletons can be reasoned with? As far as I know, they, they do appear mindless. They don't appear to have any specific objective in mind. I... At first, I was worried that maybe possibly this was some sort of agent of the, the Whispering Tyrant, but I don't know. They, they seem aimless, almost. Hmm. Maybe we just have to give them some direction. Mm, possibly. Um, I don't know. Maybe you could try to draw some of them out of town? I, I don't know. Or I, 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 we can try to kill what we can here. And, like, you guys kind of, like, see further down the street, like, a guard gets, like, taken down by a skeleton as he, like, stabs him through the throat and a zombie goes to, like, bite his forearm. How, um, how fast-moving how fast mm -hmm. is the Os Osprey River? Oh, uh, this river! Um, I would say that, uh... I mean, it's not like a lazy river, but it's not like a whitewater rafting or anything like that. How is it like um, a deep river or a shallow river? Uh, the Osprey River 
it is roughly deep enough that you can like reasonably like kayak or take a canoe on it. So I'd say it's maybe like maybe like three or four feet deep, probably. Three or four. Okay, it might not be enough. That's pretty deep. Yeah, not to, well. Yes, to you. That that would be above your head. Yes. Hopefully, there's a lot of goblin and halfling skeletons and zombies. Um. One idea, Rin, if we go, if we're heading back to the graveyard, perhaps you can get um, a group of town guards to either sit on this bridge and call the zombies, you know, make noise so they come close and you can knock them into the river and hope they flush out. Aren't there any other, like, priests or clerics in here? Can't you guys, like, put a barrier around your tent or some safe havens of the town? I, I apologize, we... We do have some clerics, but they are all down at the the Dawnflower Library, the temple. I I worry about them honestly as well. It is quite far to the south, right below the graveyard. Oh well, that's not good. All right, so what we're saying is we really lost this coin flip about going here and <laughs> going to the graveyard. <laughs> no, I, I I appreciate that you came to check on us. I I mean, obviously the situation is dire. I, I, I personally, I would, I would hope that maybe you could help me get these people to the garrison, and then afterwards, I will, I will do what I can to reach Captain Longsaddle and try to aid in the defense here, and maybe try to gu guide them to the river, like you suppose, as you advise. But um, in the meantime, I think perchance would you be able to investigate what is going on up there? I, they keep coming. I almost like it. Almost does not make sense. I know that this town has been around for hundreds of years, but I did not think that we had this much dead. Then Bo claps her hands together. You know what, guys? I've said this once before. I think this is a great time to follow this man's example in the book and split up. Half of us can help Rin, and the other half can go investigate. Sure. Like again, the the guy in the he he has left multiple times. I think it could work. If we split up, I'm going with the goblin. She has healing. Yes, sir. Uh, that's fair. I'm going with the goblin, too. Okay. So you're on your own, Jones. That's, <laughs> that up. is fair. <clears throat> I totally understand. I mean, you kind of helped cause all this shitty way, if you think that, about it. That's not true, but I will I will remain here if that's what the rest of my party wishes. <laughs> all right. I'll wink uh, at him. Good luck with Rin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. So, so, uh, so you guys are are helping her just get to the people to the garrison really quick, and then yeah, uh, we're all gonna help, and then we're dipping out to the. What do we want to go to the graveyard? Or do you want to try to go to the temple? Because uh, looking on the map, is that still a cliff above the temple here? Uh, it is a cliff. All right. I'm out of pittance and rope. Well, didn't we? Yeah, didn't we leave it there so we could climb we back up? We did, but we don't want to. Like, my my question is, do we want to go to the temple and then go up, or do we want to just go to the graveyard and then, you know, deal with it from there? Well, if I'm chilling with Rin, then me and Rin might be able to, after we save those people, go down to the temple. Maybe I don't know. That's if we truly want to split up. I was doing that a bit. Oh, I thought that's what we decided. <laughs> no, no. If we really want to do that, we can. <laughs> Obviously, splitting up is usually never the best idea, but if we all think that leaving Bones with Rin to at least help her and sending us three up there, it could work. We just don't know what's up there, though. No, watch out! And she like smashes like a skeleton's head that came up behind one of y'all. <laughs> oh, oh, my brother! Thank you, Rin. <laughs> yeah, my brother. We we don't have much time. The druids of that weird grove circle thing. Thank you. Uh, uh, what, what do you guys make a decision? What do you think we should do? We we can either spend more time helping Rin, or we can go check out the graveyard. Rin, you good here? Yes. No. Hey, I. I can we need to. I, I can. We, sh we still need to go to the thingy. I don't know what thingy is. <laughs> we have to go to the barracks. The uh, barracks. Where, where are these barracks? It is just down I Ilvasti Street. If you just follow me, I can. We can get the people there, and then you can head north okay. and exit. All right, we're helping Red. No, I'm making a decision. We're helping Red. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go get these these town folk over there, and then then we'll go. 
Okay. Come, 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 everyone. Come, children. Children first. Stay in the circle. Uh, let's, let your parents protect you. And, uh, oh, yeah, she... right now. <laughs> oh, cast some fun spells. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm not going to bring out a bunch of commoner tokens, but, you know, there's a whole bunch mm -hmm. of people surrounding Ren. Are you guys kind of, like, forming a circle with her or something like that? Yeah, I, I, I definitely am, like, whispering to the, the children. I will go in front. Um, don't, don't worry. Not all skeletons and undead are, are bad. Some of us are <laughs> sentient. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'll, I'll go in the front and I'll just have her like tell me where to turn and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Um, yeah, and uh, but like a couple my children, battle axe is drawn. Yeah, a couple children kind of like cower from you a little bit, Jones, but like one actually kind of like he kind of has his eyes closed almost or like a hand over his face as he grabs one of your hands. <laughs> um, but okay, and uh, yeah, so she'll say, All right, on the world, on the world. And uh, you guys begin to make your way uh, down Ilvashti Street. And as you guys come to the intersection, uh, you can see there's like a house has like a fire coming out of it. There's like a zombie walking out in flames. Uh, there's like guards in little battles here and there. And just like commoners, like someone has like a pitchfork like jabbing a zombie. Um, it's, it's a little chaotic. Uh, you guys do run into kind of at this intersection you like see like a couple skeletons who had like just got done killing a couple people they like turn around and they see just you casually killing some like, people <laughs> yeah just casually you know just jabbing um they kind of like rush you guys um since it's not really that many how about we'll just uh everyone give me like an attack roll um and we'll we'll just kind of do it this way do i devise a stratagem during this um, yeah, roll. sure, sure. Yeah. yeah, give me, give me whatever you would. Oh, nice, nice. Oh yeah. That's... Oh, I gotta oh, make yeah. sure I Go don't kill. have something checked. Okay, good. Uh, strikes. Yay, oh, twenty-three. I never, I never picked that up. I guess. Me go kill, man. We're we're we got our eyes on targets. Me buying that's on fire. Nice. Limbo will use the cantrip rousing splash to try to douse them. I forget. Oh, how to... I like it. Yeah. I forget how to roll my okay. weapon. A rousing splash. You know this one. No way. No, no. A rousing splash. Yes. Yeah. Well, it won't let me use my um whatever roll. So whatever, it's fine. Just do this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, I do love that you picked that cantrip as well i like almost kind of totally forgot about that yeah. uh yeah it splashes cold water yeah so okay so we'll say here's how this goes um you guys attack uh these skeletons as they kind of rush in uh everyone rolled really well um so yeah you guys are able to and they also rolled really poorly so they kind of like come at you guys you're able to like dodge their blows you know go kill like comes in with a great axe just like smashes one uh jones is able to like use his uh rapier to like essentially like kind of jab into one's innards and like kind of like trip it up where like core is able to like bring down the axe on it as like uh limbo like throws her star knife lands in one goes and grabs it and like fires off this water down at the fire to the south which at least seems to alleviate it on some level um and yeah rin's like, okay uh, good 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 uh keep moving forward moving forward um across the street and uh you guys begin making your way down there make my way downtown I like um, how every time I do that, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, Whoop, let me wrap around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just trying um, to like encircle the party, you know? I like it. I like it. Um, and as you guys like make it to another intersection, you see like here, there's a there's a couple guards that are actually doing pretty well. They've like got each other's backs and they're like cutting like to the best of their ability. They like gang up on a skeleton and start beating him down. Uh, and they kind of like cheer a little bit as it seems to stop moving and uh, Rin just good good my friends uh, Head south. I will join you soon 
And um, it's like, ah, oh, continue. We're almost there. Go. Um, oh, yeah, so you guys, uh, no, you're good. You're good. You guys continue down. And uh, as you get here uh, at the front of the garrison, uh, you uh, see like as the door like flies open and this zombie like flies out of there, this uh, this older gentleman who uh, hold on, I think I actually have a artwork of him. I, I just I don't want to describe him incorrectly. He this older gentleman, though, he in this kind of like military-esque uniform uh he charges out with like this great sword and just like brings it down on this zombie uh to take it down and um oh here it is okay uh oh are they not cool enough for that oh here he is here he is um yeah as you guys see this older man in his uh kind of military uniform and his kind of like older graying hairs as uh, he brings this zombie down and he barks out um to me man we will win this day ah, reminds me of the old days and he kind of like looks up to you Oh, Bryn! Uh, and uh, the, the, are these the new arrivals in town? I'm friendly. Oh, oh God, your skeleton, man, even... your skeleton's with us. He's, he's cool. Ah, well, as long as you're here to help, that's that's all I care about. And yes. um, he like kind of twists the great sword, and the zombie like pops the head off. Um, well, uh. We, we're we about to make a push south. Um, I was about to leave a few men here. We have some inside. Do you? And he, like, kind of sees everyone. He's like, ah, oh, good, yes. Uh, send send the townsfolk inside the garrison. We're, we'll leave a few men posted here to defend. Um, as for the rest of you, Rin, will you, will you join us? Uh, yes, yes, Captain, yes. Um, these, these people here, my friends, uh, they are, they're going to investigate the source of the undead. Um... Yes, and she kind of like looks at you all again, like pleadingly. <laughs> we, we, we've got a rope. We kind of drop down in some person's backyard from the cliff, trying to get here faster. But uh, yeah, we'll go back up there. Yeah, our uh, our king, so to speak, is up there. We're, he's waiting for us. Yo, oh, yo, what? Yo, oh. king? No. Uh, metaphorically speaking. I didn't know what y'all did to Briggle. I'd already started climbing down. Oh, that's right. He doesn't know. Don't worry about it, Kua. Um, <laughs> yes, Captain, uh, I, I did have an idea that you may want to take into consideration. Um, attracting... Well, spit it up, then. Attracting the undead with noise of some sort or or something of the like um, onto one of you the bridges. Onto one of the bridges and then pushing them into the river and letting the river take care of most of the work. Or you can dense them all on the bridge and destroy it. Either way, hopefully flushing quite a few down the river. Nah, I like the way you think, young man. Well, I actually, uh, young person? <laughs> I don't uh, know. Well, it's, uh, it's good idea. Funny that he's calling <laughs> you young since your body is decomposed. Yes, I, yeah. I thought no, the, that's why he did a double take. <laughs> I thought the age was in question here, not the okay. Yes, uh, but well, well, all well and good. Well, you head off. Um, where did you You said you descended down a rope? I uh, that might be the quickest way, depending on where it is. Yes, it's west, yeah, directly it's, west. It's, it's way faster to get to the graveyard from that rope, just trust me. Ah, to the west then. Ah, perfect. Well, we'll do what we can here. Men, to me! And, uh, he, you know, you'll kind of see a couple, like, little deputies chase after him. Uh, he, he doesn't have that many. Uh, Ren! And, uh, she's like, ah, oh, yes, uh, Mizumi, please, please help us. And, uh, she'll, she'll kind of, like, just, like, shake, uh, Cor, you're, like, the closest one. She'll, like, take your hand, and she just thanks you. Thank you, thank you. And, oh. uh, she'll run off to join them. Um, as they all head south and you kind of hear like little battle cries and, uh, you, you know, you hear as the captain, he's a, I met a few of you, bang your shields and swords. And they, they start making a ruckus downstairs as, uh, the last of the commoners get inside the garrison and the, the two guards posted there, shuffle them in. Or looks at his hands thinking, no one's ever thanked me before. <laughs> 
Oh. Note to self. <laughs> Appreciate uh, Core more. <laughs> well, there's also a reason too, because usually when he tries to help, something else happens and they get scared. All right, we're going back to the west. Yep. What a waste of time. I am so sorry, everyone. I, I kind of had some foreknowledge on how this uh, plays out. So, uh, uh, again, uh, it was a coin flip and we, we just lost it. How dare you guys assist your friend and save tens of people? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Well, we could uh, we could have saved more if we went to the graveyard. We don't know that. Oh, yes. As you walk back, you see we, even more. No. <laughs> we shaved 10 people and 400 died. <laughs> 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 but the uh, 10 we saved were really good people. We, we, we saved our life. Life. Not no children. <laughs> Look, we they saved stay on their damn game, Shorty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you guys make your way back across, we'll say that, you know, you have like a minor scuffle here or there with a stray skeleton or a stray zombie, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty quick for you guys. You kind of like charge back making your way back uh, to the cliffside. Really hope um, nothing knocked those pittens loose. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> or, you know, there's there's a thing we call a jinx. Uh, you know what that is? Oh, um, superstition? Yeah, yes, exactly. Uh, it's it's sort of like that, but uh, if you say something like that, it's 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 probably going to bound to happen. Right, don't worry, well, I'm knocking on wood. Fine. I'll, I'll go first. Counteracts right. jinxes. Yeah, give me give me your athletics check there, core. Mm. Give me a nat one. Oh, there's oh, no my one. God! <laughs> God! I yeah, bet the rope is broke, and now we gotta go all the way around. <laughs> No, 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 no. We'll say that uh, you, Core, get about 20, we'll say about 15 feet up, and then you uh, hey, lose me, your let's grip. Fall damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and you uh, do fall back down to the ground. Uh, you lose your hand grip there. And uh, yeah, I believe fall damage is just half of the distance fallen, so you'll only take seven, I believe. A lot of damage in Pathfinder. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If you fall more than five feet, take bludgeoning damage equal to half the distance you fell. All right. Is there uh, a fast uh, way for me to do that, or you know what? I can just uh -huh. do this. I can do oh, it. Oh yeah, don't worry about fine. it. There's a fast way to do it. You okay, Core? Or I wasn't thinking clearly. I, I was. I got Jake's. It's a thing. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> All right, so what, I got 25? Oh, you already did it. Okay. Yeah, I got you. I Yeah, the right click is a powerful tool. Oh, um, all right, okay. I'll, I'll try again. I can't. You, know, you want me to go, Doug? You want to take a quick breather? Or you're fine. Well, I should be fine. I'll just shake it off. All right. All right. What? Yeah, yeah, give me another one. Give me another nat one. That would be so funny. <laughs> oh, oh, it it's a failure, okay. I think. But so, oh yeah, God. so it's a failure, but like, we'll just say that it takes you like double the time to get up. Um, so you're like, real, like you're being extra careful to like, make sure you don't fall off this time. <laughs> um, and yeah, you're able to get up there. When I get up there, do the pittance look messed up at all? Uh, no, they look pretty good at the moment, at least. Uh, your your fall didn't seem to yank them loose that much. Okay. All right, well, same order. I'll actually kind of hold on to the rope, too, just to give it more okay. sturdiness. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, we'll add we'll add two to everyone else's athletics rolls. You, you don't worry about doing it if you don't want okay. to. I'll just add it on my head. Uh, yeah, cool. Limbo, you're able to get up nice and normal. All right. I also see Briggle sitting in a chair with a crown on his head, and I'm just confused. <laughs> you like it? God. I'm just what? like, imagine imagine someone, like, has your dog in the yeah. state. No, no, this is chair. what's going to be more messed up is what I'm going to ask Limbo. 
happy. Oh, oh wow, nice. Woo! 20 if you can go kill. Go kill. You like, you just feel this ferocity in you. You just like, you almost don't even use the rope. You're just like, <laughs> and like just climb up like Venom style. <laughs> um, Is it no yeah. For cultures to play with their food. What a waste of that 20. <laughs> it's, it's more like respecting him. Oh. To us, Briggle was a loyal companion. Uh, well enough to even be a king in our eyes. You, you give me some good ideas for our next feast. What? Okay. Anyway, we should get going. Yes, full <laughs> speed. I'm gonna this. Gonna, if I cook dinner, it's gonna get so weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, yeah, you guys begin uh, heading down south. Um, I'll just drag you guys down there. As you guys get closer, the moaning gets louder, oh, and there yeah. does appear to be a decent amount of undead here. Uh, but as you get closer to the gates, uh, you do actually see that there are a few guards posted out front. Um, and they're all kind of watching the main gates up here. Kind of, actually, as you guys, they're like hyper, like lasered in on like just staring at these like random shambling like zombies and skeletons in the graveyard that they like don't even notice you guys approach. And you like notice a couple of them are like actually shaking pretty bad. <laughs> Ahoy! Friend <laughs> friendly! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this like gnomish guard like turns around. Oh, he's like holding out his like short sword with both with both hands. Uh, are you friendly? Yes, yes. I, I talk and dance and do all the things that you do. Don't worry about him. He's he's nice when he wants he does, to be. He does most of the things we do. There's some bodily things he can't do, obviously, but it's close. Like obviously he's a skeleton, but. He's, uh, he's friendly. Uh, okay, I mean, if you're all friends with him, I suppose he can't be too bad. Um, my name's Gimble Spocket. Wait, that's this. What? Okay. Glide Spocket. Okay, Glide Spocket. Uh, I have a question. Did the book give you that name? Its name Wait. sounds very familiar. <laughs> no. What? What's that from? That's from Gimble Spell Glide Jammer. Spocket. Glide Spocket is Spell Jammer. Gimble Gimble, Gimble Glide Sp Spocket. Oh, Glide Spocket. No, my God, my That's brain. That's alright. No, yeah, I, I, oh man, I feel like hey, I we had pear pizza in Spell Jammer too. Yeah, no, so. it just yeah, it just right, took right. me by surprise. This all. I was it's just like, it's, damn. It's connected in some weird way. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knows when and where Pathfinder is in the canon? <laughs> That's a wonderful um, name. Yeah, and yeah, and you you see that there's a couple other guards. There's like an orc and two humans, um, who they all kind of turn around and, oh well, are you are you here to help us just keep watch or, what's what's um, going on? No, we're gonna stop kill them. that stuff. Or are you just gonna stand out here? Um, well, uh, and like the orc kind of like stands a little bit forward. Oh, uh, the the captain told us to keep watch. Where's the captain? Uh, well, last I saw him, he was at the garrison. Who's the guy with the sick mustache? I, I don't know if I'll call it sick. Yes. I, I think it's it mid really in my cool. eyes, but... Ca Cap yeah, Captain Long Saddle. He's, he does have quite the mustache. Yes, we just, uh, we just ran into him in town. He's rallied up some men and is going to uh, advance on the enemy. Perhaps we should do the same. Oh, uh, well, uh, and are you like, an like orc this. or are you an orc or are you gonna be a wimp? Oh, nice. You take that nice. Little? Oh. I just take a step towards him and just like try to assert dominance. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I totally one dig orc. it. <laughs> um, I absolutely love it. Um, because okay, he looks so... like a, a bitch, honestly. In his picture, he's all slouched over. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So in your case, go ahead, and uh, I'll let you either do a um. Let's see. You can do. 
Uh, either intimidation, persuasion. Um, nothing I'm good at. Let's go. What? Well, I guess you are. No, let's like do it. Using your kinship as an orc as well. Um, yeah, we'll we'll say we'll say it was really good. I'll give you a plus three on whatever you roll. Okay. Which I know oh, I know plus three doesn't sound like a lot, but for Pathfinder it's a lot. <clears throat> so, in, intimidation or diplomacy? Yeah. I'm gonna do intimidation. Screw it. All right, nice. Go for it. And this is fine being public. <clears throat> plus three to this, so not much. All right. <laughs> um, Eleven. So yeah, we'll say that. Uh, Especially like you chose the one guy that you could really kind of interact with. And he, he kind of like looks at you, kind of like looks you up and down, kind of like puffs out his chest. I, I'm, I'm not a coward. Uh, uh, we, we can join you. Uh, men, you get, get ready. Um, and they, they all kind of like look to him like, are you, are you sure? I'll look and at Limbo like, and like whisper, I think sword. you're going to die. <laughs> um, does it look that bad? How bad, how bad does it look truly? Um, okay. So as you guys kind of like look further in. Like, is their um, captain an idiot and sent like the worst people to go inspect this place? <laughs> Um, so yeah, as you guys kind of like look these guys up and down, um, I mean, I would say that obviously you guys seem a bit more experienced. Uh, these guys, they're, they're not like just straight up farm hands with weapons, but they're definitely not battle hardened. Like the most they've done is just like train in the yard and like, probably take a few drunks into jail essentially they, oh like they a black small town kind of thing exactly exactly <clears throat> their captain got sent here to retire i bet because he was causing a ruckus and uh abs absalom this is generally how these movies play out <laughs> now okay hold on let me just check no one's named gortash right i'm not stealing that, that's from else. baldur's gate that's from baldur's that's gate that's what the bosses of baldur's gate like literally oh it's one God. of the main villains like wait, literally wait. he is voiced okay. by fuck i you know when when the when the roderick gundrick thing happened i thought ah, it's just coincidence <laughs> now i just realized Mior Mior just doesn't he, think on his name a, he's just a plagiarizer bro <laughs> Okay. No, no, no. His name ain't Gort. Wait, is that from like Act Three or something? Or... Act no, two. he is. Yeah, Act Two yeah, onward. He's, he's literally more... voiced oh. by uh, uh okay. what's a little I, blonde I bastard in Harry Potter. His dad. See, I I haven't met him, Lush so I guess I'm just actor. a genius. Yeah. Lush, um, huh? Okay, fine. His name is Zortash. <laughs> there we go, Zortash. Let's All go. right, Zortash. Huh? I love oh, it. Man. Is Gortash taken? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're taking a D and D NPC and throwing it in a Pathfinder. <laughs> Oh man! Oh god! Right. Yeah, Gimberlin, yep. not Gortash. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> His name's not not Gortash. Um. Yeah. Uh, this woman over here, she just kind of like, ah, my name's Atari. Um. God, that's probably gonna be something else too. <laughs> Your name is literally where we're at. That's that's kind of poetic. <laughs> I, or you, is the town named after your family? <laughs> Do you descend yeah. from these people? The town is called Otari, not Zatari. Thank you. Oh, very much. I didn't hear oh, that. Oh, I just heard Tari and just assumed that. <laughs> and this I I gave up on your name. He says, "Fine, you assholes. My name's Clint." <laughs> Clint. Clint, a strong name. Is it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to live in the East Woods, would you? <laughs> Oh, Genji. Um, okay. Yeah, so they these guys are all, uh, well, um, I guess whenever you're ready and they kind of like try to form up behind you a little bit. 
Gortash tries to stay at least. Gortash. I mean, Gortash. <laughs> Gortash. Gortash. No, his Gortash name's Gortash. Sorry, it's Gortash. <laughs> yeah, it's Gortash now. Um, yeah, Gortash tries to stay. He's gonna in die line. like an Act Three. <laughs> Gortash tries to stay in line with Core, trying to you know stay. Uh, um, Small. Why do you have a club? Well, uh, you know, it uh, works pretty good for knocking out uh, pickpockets. Here, just just take this. I'm gonna give him one of my hand or one of my axe battle axes. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. No, it's not gonna do a damn thing. Just throw it in the dirt. You don't need it. Uh, if... uh, go are, we, ahead. are we just going by the pictures? Uh, is already you have a fist, Gimbal? Sorry, no. What? I'm oh. sorry. I'm just being stupid. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, Gimbal. Gimbal had his little his little short sword, um, and uh, yeah, we'll say Clint has a long sword and Zatari has a spear, um, and uh, oh yeah, just to describe this graveyard a little bit to you guys, um, as you kind of get here. Uh, you see that uh, the soil of Otari's graveyard roils and churns in the eerie blue light. Dozens of skeletons and shambling corpses haul themselves free of the ground and rush the south. Um, without hesitation, the walking dead plummet over the cliff's edge to rain down upon the domes of the Dawnflower Library. Um, they couldn't just but... take the path. <clears throat> <laughs> they were not quite smart enough for that. Um, but we will say that you actually do see at least a couple, especially like skeletons more likely. They do kind of clamber down. Uh, they don't just necessarily all full on jump off. And you do see uh, various zombies and skeletons kind of like coming up out of the ground and just also kind of wandering around this area. Um, but yeah, that is what you guys see to the south. It is your, you know, your typical cemetery with graves, um, mausoleums and whatnot. Ooh, 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 ooh. I want to try something. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay. Mm, never mind. I think this takes 10 minutes. Damn it. Yeah. Never mind. I was going to possibly do my survey wildlife to see if maybe I see something that looks like it's out of place. Uh, like maybe like a, a ringleader zombie, so to speak. Uh, oh. That would help. I mean, once, yeah. yeah, I guess once we're in there, can I do uh, in, uh, something's interesting or whatever that was called? What's up? Oh, the that's odd. That's um, odd. Uh, yeah, I mean, if y'all want, when y'all get in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, do, you handle in the occult, don't you? Yeah. He does. Oh, yeah, yeah. told you as far as tracking stuff, this might be your expertise. Yes, I am. I'll see what I can see. All right. All right. Yeah, if you... Yeah, go ahead. Um... All, right. All right, Genji, let's mosey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we, we can't sit behind these walls any longer. <laughs> Much motion. All right. Yeah, That's the, the guards, worst they, English translation ever. They open the gate, and uh, you guys begin to head in. Um. And okay, so uh, as you guys begin to head in. Um, you said that you wanted to try to do like an occultism check, I guess, or something to kind of like s see what's kind of going on a little bit, uh, Jones. Yeah. Well, so it says when you enter a new location, <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, uh, you can do um, that's odd. Is anything <clears throat> odd immediately off the bat to me? Yeah, I'll say that um, you do notice that um, while the blue light is, uh, you know, it's. It, it does feel at least somewhat weaker. Um, you don't feel like absolutely amazing like you did when you were like right in the base of the beam in the tower. Mm -hmm. um, but you do still feel like some slight effect to it. But what I will say is you do notice that um, kind of like along the edges, because this is technically a beam that's being like shot down here, that it is providing like a circle of light. Uh, you do notice that, like, where the beam doesn't touch, the ground does seem undisturbed. Um, 
but aside from that, I mean, you do mainly see upturned earth where undead have come out, and nothing particularly seems out of the ordinary for this very unordinary situation. <laughs> okay, so when you say where the light doesn't touch, would that be places like this mausoleum, like where the shadow from the light would be on this mausoleum and like the shadows from the trees? sort of yeah oh oh you know what i will also say actually a little bit as well um the area that is not in the light also just seems ever so slightly livelier the area in the light does appear that it is like ever so slightly decayed and i will also say that for my lively people in the party as you guys enter this light it's not enough for me to like give you a condition or anything but it you do feel like it, like this oppressive like weight down on you that it oh it it just feels wrong it just like feels like you're just like eh, it's your are your limbs are like ever so slightly heavier but like what's like grogginess yeah kind of in a way okay. can i test uh can i test a theory really quick For sure can i like take my yes exactly you got it <laughs> I knew can i like thinking. nick my finger with maybe my rapier or something um, just to mm -hmm. do like one damage and see if it ends up healing. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Um, you do, uh, you nick your finger and you go down from, uh, five temp HP to four temp HP and, uh, you feel the faintest, faintest bit of energy. And, uh, due to the way temp HP works, because it's similar to, uh, DD. You can either keep your four temp HP or you can get one temp HP. <laughs> okay. Does that does that to me feel I like mean, though I am getting I would be healed, it's just I'm not being healed that much. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's it's still there, but it's much less it's a lesser effect. Got it. All right. I have a question. Oh, For sorry, everyone who's never one, played this before, if you're watching now, talk to your uh GM and see for starting equipment if they'll let you buy some black paint that way when this happens you can just paint that light in the lighthouse and just <laughs> avoid this altogether <laughs> so, uh, my question was uh, uh now that limbo has actually entered this beam of light does she mm -hmm. feel that if she were to conduct any prayers or rites of some sorts would it at least calm down the undead that are trying to rise from the graves Oh, uh, that is very interesting. Um, do you... Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so what I will say is, um, you do, like, feel the presence of souls. Um, I will say, though, the ones that are actually these corpses walking around, what you can, like, just faintly kind of you know, you know, feel because this is a very this whole area right now is just so many energies flying about. They do feel like somewhat more mindless um, as if almost it's less like a living haunted like soul that's just, you know, out for blood. Essentially, it's almost like these things are more like constructs, if anything, like it's flesh that's been brought together and it's being used, essentially. All right. If that makes sense. Yep, it does. <clears throat> um, but yeah, and uh, as you kind of look about, you notice as the zombies, uh, they are walking a little bit closer. Yes. As uh, they do. Oh, go ahead. Everyone, uh, it seems that this uh, everything that light is touching is still healing. So, uh, you know, it might be a bit harder of a fight. Oh, okay. Thanks. Good information. You hear that, Gortash? Yeah, I gotta hit him extra hard. There you go. Puff your chest out more. And with that, uh, we will enter initiative. Um, as, uh, you know, stuff is, uh, stuff's going on, and it helps me keep track of everything. Um, okay, so let me just uh, select everybody and enter everybody into Kiam by yet. Um, 
Oh, excluding minion birdie from initiative. <laughs> I'm All right. My notepad, because uh, I'm going to do something pretty soon that requires me to keep track of rounds. Yeah. That's horrible. Oof. Oh, well, plus eight's not bad, though. Come on, right let me... God damn it, another one. Oh, oh man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I could have just hit roll all NPCs. I'm so dumb. Wow, the a lot of the the NPCs rolled pretty bad. Oh, what? The... <laughs> so many of the guards did so well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, yeah, so um, with that, uh, we will go ahead and get into it, I guess. Um, I forget, this one does sound pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and begin that as, uh, you know, uh, time is of the essence now. I think that sounds okay. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, first up is going to be Gortash. And, uh, yeah, he sees these undead, and, uh, he and all of his companions actually get a little worried, um, as this is way out of their wheelhouse, and how in God's, in the God's names did you convince them to do this? Um, but, uh, Gortash will try to overcome his fear, <laughs> and he will charge in, trying to be heroic. And, uh, he's gonna rush down here, and, uh, then he is going to try to, uh, get in range of the zombie and try to smack it, but it's a little too far, actually. 5, 10, 15, 20, yep. All right, that's about as close as he can get as he rushes in. <laughs> and he's uh, trying to keep up. Um, yeah, yeah. Clint, um, he uh, says, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to follow you guys as lead. <laughs> um, and he's going to delay his turn and re-enter after you guys do at some point. <clears throat> And uh, next up is uh, this skeleton over... Where the hell are you? You should have a thing. Oh, this skeleton sees the zombies getting a little active, thinks there might be some prey, and it is going to move up. It's just going to rush up, essentially. Um, and let's see, can it brush past the zombie? And it can, actually. And it's going to rush up, and it's going to try to uh, stab this guy, or try to rip into his flesh with its claws. Um, so, let's see here. He's going to strike at... Oh, oops, hold on. going to strike at Gortash as he tears into him with his skeletal claws. Or he attempts to, and Gortash smacks it away with uh, Kor's battle axe as uh, he smacks the hands away. Um, that's all the skeleton can do. So next up is uh, this zombie down here. This zombie sees flesh nearby, so it's gonna move up. But zombies are really slow, so that's all it can do. Um, and then, oh, sorry, yeah, actually also, uh, these zombies on their turn, they all got one temp HP. Um, <clears throat> doo, 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 doo. Wow, I actually kind of like this music. Um, okay, sorry about that. Uh, next up is... Oh, wait, did I skip a zombie? Or was that that zombie? Oh, that no, orc's about to die. <laughs> <laughs> the, the orc is not in a good position. Um, oh, it was Zatari. Yeah, Zatari, she's, uh, yeah, you, you, uh, have the right idea, Clint. And, uh, she's gonna delay her action as well to follow the lead of you guys. Go kill, you're up. Go kill will use two actions to move. If I can, like, use the right buttons and stuff. Oh, come on, I was, that's right, you have to do this. Okay. Go, go, go. Uh, so I move 50 with two actions. And then I'll mm -hmm. use my third action to call Birdie. So oh, okay. Fly over here. She'll go a little bit beyond. So do you use her two actions with movement? Mm -hmm. Get there. And that is my turn. All right, go kill moves up. 
Uh, next is uh, the skeleton way the hell back here. They hear a ruckus as uh, the zombies and skeletons start chattering and growling more. And uh, it's going to move on up. And uh, let's see here. That's about as far as it can go. And next up is uh, this one. It's going to start charging up. It can pretty much just go straight up, just about. <clears throat> and they all just come rushing in. And, uh, yeah, uh, you are up, Jones, as you see more of these undead just, like, charging in. How bad are you going to punish me? Because I did say I used my rapier to cut my hand, but I totally intended to say I, I pull back out my crossbow because I know how this game is. But I, 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 I will allow it. Okay. Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> okay, in that case... Um, Oh crap, I forgot about it. Did I get them all? I, I am yeah. going to uh, devise a stratagem on the skeleton coming up. I know skeletons very well. Aha, uh -huh. um, I see, I see. So I'm going to devise my stratagem on him or her. Where is devise a stratagem? It's been a while. Um, oh my gosh, I forget how to do this. There it is. I already did it once today too, and it, I forgot how to do it. Oh yeah, you. Uh, got ah, it. that's not going to work. <laughs> not a clean shot. Um. So then instead, hmm. hold on. I want to see what my new thing is. I forget how it works. Okay, while you look at that, I'll just also say go kill. You notice that this zombie over here, it like particularly looks like it's like falling apart and you like see flies and stuff flying around it. It's particularly putrid. And you see as it kind of moves up on Gar Gortash, he like kind of gags a little bit. <clears throat> Ooh, can I? Hmm, no, I should save it. How? It doesn't even show up on my sheet. I don't even know where I'd find this. What are you looking for? The, the thing that lets me, like, help other people attack using my device of stratagem. Oh, you're, uh, that's the feat you picked, right? Yeah. Um, shared stratagem. The plans you make include your allies yourself when you hit a creature with an ah, attack so on um, which hit. you've substituted. Yeah. And uh, to see that, it's on your feet, uh, by the way, which is next to the hand in the character sheet. <sighs> okay. Jeez. Uh, okay, I guess... Um, what are some things I can do in Pathfinder? Uh, yeah, I, you, you haven't used any actions, right? I used one to devise a stratagem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okie dokie. Um, well, these are undead, so you're not quite sure how well they could be reasoned with. Um, but, uh, in terms of other actions... Oh, I mean, you could, like, at the very least, ready an action, like, if, uh, if something, like, comes into like you guys' range you could do something or uh what else could you do um it is unfortunate that with devise a stratagem you can't just like choose to oh, i guess it's because it. it's like you're rolling yeah um, um so like with there's like nothing there's nothing really else to investigate based off my that's odd it was just that the light heals so uh, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, go get him, go kill. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll we'll say uh, we'll say you can try to use your action to aid go kill. Um, if he attacks for his next turn, and we'll uh, when that comes, we'll have you do your I don't know diplomacy check or something. Okay, I'll use my um, last action to just get a little closer. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, okay, uh, so when Go Kill makes his next attack, we'll have Jones roll uh, Diplomacy and see if he can give Go Kill a bonus. Um, okay, uh, next up is uh, Gimbal. 
<laughs> who I just unknowingly just completely stole from Spelljammer. Um, yeah, he is also going to delay his action uh, as he tries to suss out the situation. Um, okay, Limbo, you are up. Limbo will move. Uh, let me see. Is that going to move? Am I dumb? Right, she will move 25 feet. So that's one action. Mm -hmm. And I believe should be in range. Yep, she will then divine lance the zombie over here. Uh, yeah, go ahead and target it and uh, go for it. Uh, attack. Boom. Man, all uh, right. Uh, that is definitely a hit at 17. So go ahead and give me your damage. Uh, four damage. All right, for four damage. Nice, nice. You fire off into this zombie, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it does hurt. It doesn't seem to be like extra hurt, uh, in particular no. by the light, but uh, you did damage it for sure as you kind of burn its flesh a little bit. I'll be it for limbo then. Just cast All a right. massive healing spell on that son of a bitch. See what happens. <laughs> Yeah, there, there is that. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a, there's someone by me that I can't really do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, no, so no, not the three pieces. level, just, you know, two level target that's SOB. See what happens. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I just want to make sure Divine Lance, you know, didn't do it. No, I, I, I know what you were looking for. And No, it is uh, weird because, like, it. Divine Lance, yeah, I felt the same way when I played. I was like, just, what do you mean it didn't do extra? Damage? It's called Divine Lance. I to make sure. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a good, a good shot. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, so uh, it is actually now that zombie that you shot, I believe. Um, so, oh, wait, actually, where is it? It's, oh, no, it's this one. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, this one's just going to rush forward. These things are stupid and slow, and that's about as far as I can get. Also, um, my own, the oh, go ahead. two action heal, it doesn't reach. It's only 30 feet, so I, I couldn't even reach that guy by trying. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I'll throw you. There you go. <laughs> that, that's an option. I don't know if Limbo agrees with it. Well, gonna have to limbo throw me. That wouldn't be too bad, actually, because then Bones will be nearby. Me later. Skeleton <laughs> runs up. Core, you're up. All right. Core is going to. Those three actions will get you, huh? Uh, because I got my axe out right now. I'm gonna run up 25 feet, which is my. I'm gonna stride my average. Uh, distance for my first action. Mm -hmm. I will swap with my second to my uh, bow. And, or my short bow, and I'm going to target that same zombie that's trying to flank Gortash there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on, baby. Damn it. Oh no! Yeah, unfortunately you uh, fire off that shot and uh, the zombie, it like looked like it was just about to get ready to try and bite Gortash and it like goes right behind its head. <clears throat> yep, that'll, uh, that's all three of my actions. Oh, I'm gonna roll a three. three. Um, alright. Uh, cool. So... Next up would be, uh, this will be this boy right back here. And, uh, he is going to charge up, uh, through the, we'll say he kind of goes under the tree a little bit. And, uh, darn, you guys are all so far away. Um, yeah, he'll, he'll rush up over here. How about that? Um, okay, and uh, yeah, seeing that the zombies charge up and that you guys moved in, uh, we're gonna say that uh, all of our little guards decide to re-enter initiative. Um, so, uh, Clint is going to come in at seven. Um, and then, let's see here, we'll just say Zatari follows after him at six and a half. <laughs> And uh, Gimbal comes in at six. 
Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, as that zombie, or that skeleton moves in, uh, Clint says, all right, let's move in, and, uh, he charges in, uh, to get up with you guys, and he's going to rush down, and, yeah, no, these guys aren't that smart, so he's gonna charge into the skeleton over here, and that is all his actions. Zatari is going to charge in as well. Um, we will say that uh, she tries to... Oh my god. She's going to get right here, and then I think she's in range. Um, yeah, I believe so. A spear. Um, oh no, not with a spear actually. Okay, yeah, uh, she's just gonna get up next to her guard buddy and uh, try to help him out. Um, and last up is Gimbal, and Gimbal is going to run in uh, amongst you guys. Actually, he's gonna try to help out Gortash, um, and he's gonna head over there. Okay. Um, that is them, and the last person is this zombie, and the zombie sees that there is flesh nearby, so it is going to get in on this. <laughs> um, so it's going to rush up, and that's one action, and it's going to try to grab uh, Gortash. Uh, and that is a 12 versus, what are these things, DCs? Uh, oh, it actually tries to grab Gortash, and Gortash, uh, is unable to, or he, uh, he kind of fends it off. He's, he's holding the ground pretty good here. Um, and, uh, yeah, I kind of forgot to give these guys health. But, uh, okay, so, next up is... Oh, Gortash! Um, <laughs> uh, Guys, I need a little help. And uh, he is going to try to retreat a little bit because uh, he's not in a great situation. And uh, he's going to move back and he's going to try to attack this zombie because he does not want to be there. And uh, what did I, I give him a battle axe, right? So I wonder if this thing is smart enough to um, do this. Probably not, but it's fine. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'm just going to use this. Um, let's see. That is going to be a total of 13. Wow, even with how frightened he is, too. Um, and so that is going to do some damage. And that is a total of 5 bludgeoning. Um, as he... I mean, uh, not bludgeoning. I was slashing. like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As he uh, slashes this thing with a battle axe. And, uh... Ah, yeah, why not? He'll do it again. And that is... Oh, wow. That's actually even better. Uh, 18. So he hits again, the zombie. And that is... Good god. A total of nine slashing. Jesus, these guys are strong. Um, okay, so, uh, this zombie is not looking great, honestly, right now. <laughs> As it is definitely a bit closer to death's door. Oh, sorry, he did start his turn next to it, though. Uh, so, uh, he kind of, like, gags a little bit, um, and, uh, oh, no, he's at full health, just kidding. Uh, yeah, he gags a little bit, but, uh, he's, uh... He's, he's okay at the moment. Um, okay, so next up is uh, the skeleton over here. Skeleton is going to see that uh, there are people nearby. It's going to rush up and it's going to try to tear into him with his claws. Um, also, why are these guys? Hold on. Um, sorry, just, there's something with the guards. Uh, at the start. Oh, okay, so I guess they... Oh, okay. Um, it's cool. So they actually, they their morale is improving a little bit as they're slightly less frightened. Sorry, yeah, he uh, goes in with the claws um, and he's going to... Uh, that is a... Oh, Jesus, that might be a crit, actually. Oh, no, it's just a hit. Um, hits for 25 and does three slashing damage on the guard. Um, and the, or the skeleton ain't very smart, he's gonna go for another hit. 
And that is a critical miss. Uh, okay, cool. So next, oh, and he, oh, he already has 10 HP. Um, next up is this zombie here, and the zombie's not very smart, so the zombie is just going to try to grab him. Um, so let's see how that goes. Uh, that is a, uh, 20, which does beat that, so, uh, it has grabbed, um, has grabbed Gortash. And now, uh, <laughs> the zombie is going to take a bite um, on this guy. So, yeah, he goes for a bite, and that is going to be a critical hit. It's not a nat 20. Um, so it grabs Gortash, and this comes in for a bite down on his neck as it does 16 piercing damage. Uh, Gortat like rips out a chunk of his neck and Gortash is like like looking phased as he's like holding his neck and it's just like pouring blood um, and this zombie will heal for one health Oof. Um, okay and that go kill you are up Gortash is not looking great <laughs> and is oh. grabbed by the zombie he's on my problem um, I'm gonna run up <laughs> use one action to move to get to go through the skeleton uh I will use my. Do I want to? Oh, if yeah, you I'm kill this my... one, it would be so sad. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm gonna use my attack. Uh, does does uh, Jones do his thing first or after? Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll me your um your diplomacy there, Jones. Diplomacy. Diplomacy. Diplomancy. 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 Um, okay, so yeah, you, you you give Go Kill the, you know, the, oh, yeah, it's really great or whatever, and Go Kill just doesn't really care that much, so it doesn't it affect doesn't even him. listen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about right. All right, go ahead and uh, D roll. <clears throat> All right, that is a hit. Oh, you're going to destroy this thing. Uh, damage. Unless you roll extremely poorly on damage. Okay. So yeah, you slice down into this thing, go kill. But you notice that these bones are quite hard. You do hurt it, uh, but it's still standing. Well then, for my third action, I'm going to call for Birdie. She's going to get on the flank. And Ooh. Behind. Nice. Rip the bones apart, Birdie. Birdie's hungry. Oof. Oh, yeah, Birdie's Birdie real hungry. hungry. Oh, oh boy. Let's go yeah, go for it. Does Birdie get all the bones together? Off he needs that foot marrow, or whatever bro. it's called. Uh, so hold on, let me check the AC because it's because Vaka didn't target uh the thing. I think. Oh, but I thought I did. It's it's all good. Um, so with the off guard, it would have been minus two to its AC, which would have increased it. It'd still be a regular hit. Okay, I was just curious. No, you're good. Thank you for reminding me. Um, all Damn right, <laughs> and that is for three piercing, which uh, Birdie digs, tries to dig her claws into this thing, oh. but the the claws, the talons, they just can't find purchase on the skeleton. That is as it takes no damage. All right, well that is my turn. All right, that is go kill. Um, next up is, uh, this skeleton down here. <clears throat> so this skeleton is going to run up, um, and he'll get up here. Uh, let me just check something. Ah, oh, man, so many actions. Um, okay, yeah, and this one will essentially just run up and join the fray on, uh, go kill. Um, next up is this one, and, ah, yes, this one. Um, <laughs> this one, you see as, um, it, uh, it literally picks up its own head, and it, <laughs> and it throws it at you. Um, so it is going to throw its head at you, and, uh, so it'll make a Jaws attack on you, um, which... Their jaws attack is not there, so I'll use this because it's probably the same modifier. 
Um, and oh, it yeah, rolls baby. a nat one. So the head just literally, you just duck right under as it throws its head at you. And the head ends up falling uh, like behind you over here. Um, and uh, let's see. So, oh, okay. So interesting though. So we'll say, yeah, because it would be, um, so it doesn't actually necessarily need to, no, we'll say it needs to hit you for that. So it throws the head. You're like a little, Ugh, that's odd. Um, but, uh, yeah, so until then, the skeleton is blinded as its head is bouncing around over there, and, uh, it's going to kind of try to blindly swipe at you with its claws, uh, as its head is around the corner, and it's gonna roll terribly and miss. <laughs> um, okay, that is that. Um, next up is Jones. Okay. Um... All right, I'm just thinking that through in my head now. Okay, uh, I would like to devise a stratagem on the zombie that just bit Gortosh. Or Zortosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I would like to do. Let's do it. All right, go for it. Oh, no. <laughs> um, okay. Can I, uh, as, as a skeleton... Uh-huh. Do I know that skele other skeletons tend to be resistant to certain types of damage or anything like that? Oh, if you want to do a... I'll give you a plus two on a recall knowledge of occultism to find that out. Occultism. Do you want me actually, to... Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a plus three, actually. Um, and yeah, just do it. The do the blind roll. Blind roll. Uh, token action. Hud uh, Jones has already rolled initiative. Oh, it, I was hitting the initiative one. Okay, that would be why. Um, blind GM roll. Here we go. All right. Um. Okay. Cool. So yeah, and uh, you would know Jones that um. While your matter is made up slightly different of the common uh, skeleton that necromancers are known to rise, because, you know, you are somewhat of an odd case, you know that generally um, skeletons, at least for physical damage, are, like, very resistant against anything but bludgeoning, because um, it's very... You know that it's, uh, it's a lot easier to, like, break their bones with a nice, firm, blunt object. Um, and we'll say that, uh, you did actually, you did that. Like I'll, I'll say that you, you also know that, uh, yeah, the club that you made him throw away. <laughs> um, yeah, they're also actually, uh, pretty resistant to some forms of magic as well. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll say that, yeah, that's what you, you get off of that. Um, I essentially yell that to everybody on the field, but then I say, anyone with blunt weapons, focus the skeletons. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. Oh, oh, oh. I would have been really nice to have my club. Where's the club? Get the fuck up. Where did he drop the club? <laughs> I think uh, the, the club was like, was like back at the front okay, gate. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to use my last action to move to go over to the front gate. <laughs> so okay. I can go get the club. Because <laughs> I'm not doing anything else this fucking combat. That, that's actually perfect. <laughs> okay, okay, that's my turn. Sick. Um, okay. Oh, I did forget to uh, heal that skeleton for one. Um, okie dokie. So, uh, Limbo, you are up. Uh, so unfortunately I can't do it this turn. So she will move 25 feet right there. Uh, I mean, I want to burn a heal on this dude. Uh, of course, next. Um, man, it's really annoying. Sneer death, unarmed, unarmed. Man, this dude better not let me down. This is what uh, Limbo thinks of herself as she casts her two action heal on what is Goresh? Gortesh. Oh, Gortesh, you're yeah. so nice. <laughs> Limbo's nice. Good job, Limbo man. is Reluctantly nice. is doing this. 
Uh, 12 healing. Man, for 12 healing, you more than likely saved this young orc guard's life. <laughs> and that's Limbo's turn. All and she, right, she will awesome. yell as Bones runs past her. I, I've got to try to do a, a big heal uh, in a few seconds, so watch out for that. All right, all right, all right, Hopefully all right. Hopefully he heard you. He is far away. Uh, I, I just, she said it as, like, Bones ran past her, so. Oh, God. No, I mean, I mean, Grizzlock is not the Oh, yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Grizz is <laughs> I was like, hopefully he heard that. <laughs> All right. Uh, this zombie. Um, this one was already. Oh, yeah. This is the one that actually has this guy grabbed. So, uh, yeah, it's going to bite down again. Um, cause just chowing oh, down on this zombie floor. Went after him. Okay, I thought that was the last zombie. Uh huh? No, this uh, this one. Oh, just kidding. That one doesn't actually. Yeah, do that. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, no, you're good. One yeah, of these rounds is not like the other. <laughs> no, it's weird because it panned my camera to this one, but the one that actually has my marker is down here. Okay, no, thank you actually for pointing that out. Yeah, uh, otherwise, okay, I, never cool. done, I never would have healed. I would have done something. No, 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 you're you're good. All right, yeah, this one is gonna rush up. And, uh, well, you know, as fast as a zombie can do. Um, okay, and it is going to move up on uh, Go Kill. Oh, actually, no, it'll move up to this birdie. Uh, but it doesn't have enough actions to do anything. So it uh, looks at birdie hungrily. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll give it one temp HP. Um, okay, next up is the Skeleton. Uh, this one is uh, going to rush up. Um, oh yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah, it's gonna head up there. And, oh my god. Yep, it's gonna get up and it's gonna look like it's reaching out to grab you, go kill, but these things were quite far away. Uh, Core, you're up. I hope y'all start slaying soon, because uh, there is a lot of undead here now. Uh, Grace. What's up? Free chat. <clears throat> oh, I want to say that, because I know he records, so he never reads the chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to run up 25 feet because I got man, it's just skeletons. My bow ain't gonna do much. I'll run up 25 feet, kind of back these uh, these guards up. I'll mm -hmm. activate gr my magical ability gravity weapon for my second Ooh. action as this uh, okay. purple light kind of shines in my eye as I draw my short bow back to shoot this zombie that's got uh, Gortesh grabbed. All right. Come on, baby. Hit. Hey, oh, 22. Oh, that is a critical hit as well. <laughs> Holy hell. Give me that crit damage. Critical. Yeah, for 22. Nice. Uh, for Wow, okay. And yeah, does that take for... into effect my plus two? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, it's the 1d6 piercing, the 1d10 from the deadly. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, so I, I should get a plus two for my gravity weapon because that's twice the number of my damage die. When you roll, did it like give you an option to do something like that? No, or... so when it, I just hit the critical button and it rolled automatically. Oh, okay. Oh, no, okay. it didn't. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, I'm not seeing a added bonus. I could add the bonus manually. Yeah, because what does it do again? You build up that leading more powerful. On your first weapon strike each round, you gain a status bonus to damage equal to twice the number of weapon damage die. So, uh... So wait, would I... The... So would I get four because I had to roll two damage die for that critical? Um... I because it's it's specifically saying weapon or, damage. Okay, dice, weapon. So, so then it would just be two. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So it'd be a total of twelve then. Um, okay. Right. Cool. 
Uh, so yeah, that I is mean, piercing. I think that is uh, enough. Is there any way you want to like flavor this gravity weapon arrow as it kills this zombie? Yeah, like as I run in, uh, you just see my eyes get a little purple and my arms draw back a little bit. Uh, you see like this purple little hue hit the tip of the arrow when I let it go. You just see it's almost like this arrow looks like it's got a lot more weight than it should to it as I fling it straight through the skull, like right between the eyes of that zombie. Oh, nice. Leaving yeah, like goes... a bit, like it looks like almost like a bullet hit it instead of just an arrow, like it just blows the back of its head out. Hell yeah. And yeah, as you do that, boom, it like uh, just falls back off of Gortash and he kind of like looks at you. Oh, I'm thankful. <laughs> And uh, that's three actions. That'll be my turn. All righty. That was a good turn there. Um, okay. So next up is this skeleton. It sees Zatari right in front of it. Uh, and uh, oh, this one also has it. It is also going to try to throw its skull at her. Um, okay, and it <laughs> throws it, the skull, oh my god, these stupid skeletons, this one like throws its skull behind, she dodges it, she's like, ugh, but uh, yeah, doesn't end up hurting it, this skeleton's now blind until the start of its next turn, uh, and it is going to blindly try to grab at her, I guess, uh, with its claws. Uh, and it misses as well there. Uh, so it's just gonna get its little temp HP as it does nothing. Um, and Zatari does feel a little bit more confident. Uh, she might survive through this. Clint as well. Um, all right, next up is Clint. Um, Clint is going to bring down uh, his longsword on this guy. And uh, da -da 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 -da. let's see how that goes. Um, yeah, uh, so um, that is going to be an 11, so he misses that. Uh, he's like, oh, uh, maybe you know, we should try to work together. And he's going to rush behind, um, and then he's going to try to do that again. Um, and uh, we'll see how it works this time. Um, so uh, that is going to be a natural 20 uh, for a critical hit. Um, so let's see, that is going to be uh, for a total of, uh, what would that be? Uh, eight damage. He rolled very poorly on his weapon damage die. <laughs> so he, uh, oh, whoops, I did not mean to hurt himself. Uh, yeah, as uh, the skeleton ends up taking three uh, after its temp HP as he chops down to the back of this thing and it like cuts a couple ribs. Um, that's going to be all of Clint's actions as he kind of like, oh, we can do this, I think. Um, all right, next up is Atari. Zatari, uh, she has her spear, so she's going to try to use that. Um, so uh, she's going to come in with that. And that is going to be a critical miss on the first strike, but uh, she's going to go for it again. Um, that is going to be a hit for 19, uh, so let's roll that damage. And that's going to be a total of 9 damage. Um, so that is going to, she's using a spear though, it's going to get halved down to 4, and she kills it. She like stabs it straight through the skull and like, or wait, the skull's gone. She like, I don't know, she stabs it in the pelvis in the and knocks the pelvis, <laughs> pelvis out. And after it's like the pelvis, pelvis comes out, it like falls to the ground. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, it's down. Uh, so next up is, uh, Gimbal. Uh, good, good job, guys! Um, and he's gonna try to rush up and attack this zombie. And, uh, this guy had his little short sword. Um, so he's gonna attack with that. Uh, that is going to be a hit for 14. Um... And that will be nine piercing damage slash down. Oh, whoops. God damn it. Um, oh, yeah. So that'll get reduced to four. Um, okay. So let's just do that. Um, okay. 
Um, so, oh, sorry, just kidding. This wasn't a skeleton. So, yeah, it actually takes the, oh, hold on. I said slashing, or I said piercing, just kidding. Um, so okay, yeah, so as it takes uh, nine piercing. Don't think about anything I said. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, he'll try to use his last action to do it again, I guess. Um, oh, you got that. Oh, nice. Uh, that was another hit. Um, so that is a total of seven uh, piercing as he stabs the zombie again. I just die, please. Uh, um, all right. And uh, that's Gimbal. Uh, last up is the zombie. Uh, the zombie is very dumb and it just tries to grab the thing that uh, was getting him. Uh, and it's going to try to grab him. Uh, so let's see how that works. Uh, and that was a natural one, um, so, oh my god, I need to read grapple again, because I think, uh, yeah, when you critically fail, uh, okay, yeah, so it tries to grab Gimbal, and Gimbal sidesteps it, and it actually falls prone. Um, so, yep, Gimbal is, or this thing is down, and I guess it'll use its last, oh, no, that, or yeah, it'll use its last action to stand up, so that's, that's all I can do. Um, okay. Uh, you, Gortash is up. Uh, sorry, there's just a lot of NPCs. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gortash is gonna attack the skeleton, and, uh, he'll use his little battle axe there. And uh, let's see, that'll be, uh, da, 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 da. that is going to be a hit for a total of 23. And that'll be nine uh, slash and damage, which gets reduced um, to four, which leaves this skeleton at one hit point. Um, as he slashes down into this thing, like cuts one of its spare arms off. And uh, he's going to slash down into it again. Um, let's see. That is a critical miss. And uh, you know what? He's going to try to trip this thing. Um, so let's do an athletics. Uh, yeah, that is a 13, which, uh, yes. Um, hold on a second. Let me... Uh, Sorry, uh, trip. Uh, yeah, so he tries to trip this thing. Uh, attempts at athletics versus reflex. Oh, wow. Okay, just kidding. Uh, skeletons are very reflexive. He tries to trip it, and the skeleton just, like, literally just backs up just in time, and, like, uh, Gortash almost trips, but he doesn't, thankfully. Um, okay. Uh, next up is the skeleton that just jumped out of the way, and Gortash is no longer frightened as he's feeling quite good, but the skeleton is going to try to claw at him. Um, so he's gonna claw, and that is uh, gonna be a hit for 21. And he's gonna claw Gortash for five damage. Um, it's uh, not very smart, it's gonna go for another claw, and that's gonna be a miss. And you know, it's a skeleton, it's not very smart, so it's uh, going to go for a third claw. Um, okay, and uh, that is also a critical miss, obviously. So next up, uh, this zombie's dead. Go kill, you're up. Um, so uh, remind me what are the rules in path? Can you move diagonally through enemies or no? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's nothing against that. Hmm. Do I just fully give up on the skeletons or? On my first move, my first uh, command, I'm going to have Birdie attack and flee. Uh, so Birdie's going to peck at the zombie. Mm -hmm. um, just a strike. All right, that's going to be a hit. Go ahead and give me your damage. Damage. The damage. Oh, nice! For seven piercing is the town. Oh, sorry, I did forget to give this thing the one health because it's in the the thing. Um, okay, yes, as uh, yes, it, the talons go down, deal seven piercing damage. That was a good hit. Um, uh, then she's going to fly up into the trees. Oh, I like it. I like Get it. Away from that. Um, and you know what? Let's get surrounded. I'm gonna 
drop my axe into the earth. Uh, uh, is dropping an action or is it? No, dropping is free. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna, just going to drop my axe into the earth and I'm going to punch the skeleton in front of me twice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, I love it. Go ahead and punch that skeleton. That bludgeon. Yeah, unless oh, I do. <laughs> it just like barely avoids your blow. Uh, if I would have kept breathing for one more turn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> technically. We go for second punch. All right. Oh, but that is a hit. Um, go ahead and give me that damage. Damage, blood. Seven bludgeon. Nice, nice. Go kill. How do you just like take this thing down in one punch? I just go for the punch, because, but because he's blind, he's wobbling all over, and I miss the first one, and I come in with the haymaker to the rib cage on the second one. Nice. Literally just explodes in like a clatter of bones as you punch into the thing's rib cage. And a greatest rib it. cage and send some. <laughs> bone pieces up to birdie to gnaw on <laughs> hell yeah all right uh that's go kill um so next up is the skeleton next to him uh they're not very smart so it's gonna go in for some claws um so let's see here that's gonna be a wowzers uh miss it's gonna come in for another claw uh, you, you just bat that one away uh, you know what? Uh, it's gonna use its last action to try to grab you, I guess. Why not? Um, yeah, let's see here. This will probably fail. Um, and it's... Oh, it critically fails, so it falls prone on the ground. <laughs> oh, just trying to give a loving embrace. Oh, uh, yeah, he goes for the grab and go kill. You literally just kind of like sidestep and push its head down to the ground. Um, okay, uh, next up is, uh, Jones, you're up. All right, so... Oh, sorry, let me get... There you go, you're up now. Um, similar question to Bacchus. Taking one hand off of my crossbow, is that an action or a free action to take a hand off? Uh, it's, it's free to take one off. Okay, yeah. so or I'm going to take off... if you want it, but... I'm just going to take off one hand and grab the, uh, club or whatever it was that was his okay. name dropped. Um, mm -hmm. you now have a club. All right. Next, I'm trying to figure out what my better scenario is. If I should throw this to Gokel or if I should throw this to the other dude. Well, you do have temp, temp HP. I didn't remember that. So does, does, does heal go through temp HP me or? Is he, uh, I mean, any sort of damage would go through any temp hp yeah uh, i'm asked, like doesn't oh, bypass. oh oh it, it doesn't bypass it okay, no right. it's, it's regular temp hp rule Got stuff it. yeah um question what um that was an action to pick that up right yeah okay just want to be sure okay so then i'm gonna use my movement um to come down i believe uh oh wait what just happened sorry <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? What? Here? Hold on, I, I wasn't trying to make that my movement. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Yeah, just pay attention to the number on the left. That's what your current ruler is measuring. Okay, yeah, that was confusing me a little bit. I'm uh, want to make sure I'm safe from here. Oh yeah, I should be okay actually. Could I have landed in this spot instead? Yeah. Um. And then I would like to attempt to throw the the club to Kokel, like re relative area. Oh my God, you are yeeting that thing. I, I Googled um, it. I Googled it. Oh yeah? You So I looked up, when I tried to look up how far can you throw a stick, it uh -huh. came up with throw, like how far can you throw a throwing stick? So that's like a stick designed to be thrown. It was like hundreds of feet. But uh -huh. then I looked up how far can you throw a rock and it said, uh, like an untrained person can throw it like 30 to 40 feet and like a trained person can throw it like 100 feet or something like that And this is a stick a stick is much easier to throw So I, I will like also say that the, the actual club weapon itself has a thrown range of 10 feet really uh, oh, so 
you you can throw it that far but for every range increment it's gonna lose it'll get a circumstance penalty um because these are like you know hefty clubs basically okay um if that's the case i mean what's the worst that can happen fucking yeet it you think i should just try it i have zero athletics so <laughs> there's no uh, i mean like no so point. like maybe this well, will be your nat 20. Let's say, like, you fail. Like, what would happen to the club? Like, would it just go off and hit somebody It'll else? It'll just go, just like, go? a different direction, yeah, than I'm intending, I assume. I feel another 50-50 shot coming here. All right, screw it. I might as we, well. We just uh, need to I'd go throw it, it the direction of Gokel. Um, trying to get it as close as I can. I'm assuming okay, yeah. that is athletics. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, well, so no, no, just do um do an attack with your crossbow because um you're using your dex mod as a ranged attack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sick. There you go. Nice. Okay, so okay, so hold on. So that's a twenty-four. Um, so let's see. I just need to double checky. I don't think my range increment thing is on here. Um, I just wanted to double check this. Uh, okay, so it's a minus two penalty against the target for every range increment. Uh, okay, six, so right? he's 50 feet away. It has 10 mm. foot range, so it'd be minus four penalties, right? Four. So eight or minus eight. Oh, eight. Uh, so it's a 16. Um, and I'll say that, that was like a simple thing. So yeah, you're able to Let's throw go. it at go kill. Uh, that was a really good throw. Go kill. <laughs> There you go. Use that club. Yeah, the club, like... Well, here, give me a... Just give me a reflex save there, go kill. We'll see if you just catch it super easily. These flies remind me of going to the bathroom at work in the Porta Johns. <laughs> Where are the saves? <laughs> oh, are? I forgot the flies were still here. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, no, I lost. Middle of August. Ugh, gross. Whoa. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. You catch it. You catch Hell the club yeah. in one of your hands. Nice. Oh, that's Dab cool. for us, like Baka. <laughs> All right, Limbo, you are up. <laughs> so she will clasp her hands together and whisper uh, a quick prayer, and around her does burst of cosmic energy will emanate from her doing a three action heal okay yeah go ahead and do your three action heal uh, so need to place this first yeah then, holy crap you stopped yeah. right outside of it <laughs> i know so there's that and i need to roll a healing it's two healing still two damage yes two damage as well so, 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 technically, uh, you see as you channel this healing energy there. Um, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me check something here. Because this is one thing that actually does drive me a little bit crazy about, um, about Pathfinder is the fact that um some of this stuff is hidden in traits um which is actually like incredibly annoying um how it's not it all just readily apparent um oh my god uh da, 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 da. yeah because i also just don't want to see okay because like for example uh it's you know you're on the right path anyways zombies specifically call out that they have a weakness to vitality um but uh the um the sorry the skeletons don't specifically call it out uh, they don't but, don't they have the undead trait so they do have the undead trait that is why that's what i was I trying thought, to check. i thought positive healing energy always affected undead so that's also... <laughs> so i didn't know 
<laughs> no, nah, hold on. So, okay. So, once living, if you use death, void energy, when reduces to zero, it's destroyed. Undead creatures are damaged by de vitality. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, because so otherwise, okay, yeah, because yeah, because otherwise we could be healing. Yeah, Chris, no, no, the entire no. it, campaign. It, it, it made sense. I just I just wanted to double check because this stuff does screw with me a little bit. That's only because uh, as my sorcerer, I made it a point every time we went to a crypt to just cast thirty foot heels all battle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yep, everything's going say, into heels, baby. Let's go. Ninety nine percent sure it worked. I just yeah, I wanted to be sure. Um, yeah, okay, so they do take, uh, damage, uh, they're just not particularly weak to it, is the thing. Uh, yeah, that is fine. Um, and it still will get healed. Alright, sorry, I just had to see, because it kept, like, disappearing. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, so, um, Kor gets healed, uh, Gortash gets healed, Gokale gets healed. Uh, Go Cash is already good. Uh, this Skelly Boy gets damaged. This Skelly Boy gets damaged, and this one gets damaged. Nice. Um, and he oh, died. As, actually, <laughs> yeah. Nice. As you channel the energy, you kind of like see is like your divine energy like intertwines with this necrotic energy, kind of like emanating off its bones, and it like overpowers it as it vanishes, and then the bones just clatter to the ground. Whatever was holding them together has been defeated. Oh, and uh, that thing, as you kill it, it explodes and uh, it deals uh, 1d6 slashing damage to everything adjacent. So Gortash, uh, as the bones fall oh, apart, no. uh, they no. are going to that little last bit of necrotic energy blows up and uh, yeah, like a rib jabs into Gortash as he takes uh, five Oof. slashing damage oh, from a bone. Hey, uh, Okel, I think you need to get out of the situation you're in. You know, it was a really good thing I did that, because now we know. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, next. Hey, I, have a, I, I do. I do have a quick question for you, there, Mior. Uh huh. Yeah. Now. Oh wait. Baka, did you already kill the one that threw its head at you? Never mind. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I was gonna say, I was gonna ask if like the heads that they threw exploded, leaving the ones that did throw their heads perpetually blind. Oh no! You see, so y'all killed all the ones who yeah, did. Yeah, no. the, the the head would have like bounced back at the start of the next turn. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So uh, next up is the zombie. Um, the zombie is going to rush up into Go Kill and it's going to try to grab him because it wants a chunk of flesh from you, good sir. Um, so it's going to try to grab you. Oh, I almost did it on the crappy version. It's his first one. Uh, let's see here. That is a total of 13, which is a failure. Um, as it tries to grab you and you usually just kind of like push it back and it's not able to do that. Um, that's all zombie can do. Next up is Skelly Boy. This Skelly Boy is next to you. Um, he heals a little bit. This one actually, uh, you notice that he kind of has like blood coating him and kind of like moving around on his flesh slowly. Um, and he actually heals a little bit outside of. Oh, yeah, sorry. And the zombie also gets its uh, one heal. Skelly I keep forgetting about that. Flesh. He he he. Uh, it's old gnarly flesh. Um, uh, yeah, so and it is gonna go anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, so <laughs> it's it's like the okay. ship of Theseus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's the question now. Is Jones a skeleton or is he a zombie since he has a freaking eyeball and some flesh in there? He's a um, zombie. Cut the eyeball out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so that first claw is gonna be a miss. Gonna try again. Uh, it is also a miss, and uh, let's see, you'll probably just bat this last one away Another too, critical these, miss! These, uh, these zombie, or these, uh, these skeletons are not doing great. Uh, Kor, you're up. As you see these, like, flailing down at Gokel. Alright, Kor is going to stride 25 feet. He's going to stride his movement down here underneath this tree in between these headstones uh and he is 
Oh, okay. It's because the dead skeleton's underneath that zombie, which is why it's saying the zombie is dead. Um. Uh, he'll make the zombie his hunted prey and then release an arrow. Oh, the okay, yeah. Just uh, I guess make sure that the hunted prey check boxes check. Oh, it is. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's a. First I know why I didn't add this one around. Yeah, thing. yeah, I see. I, it. I see it. I see. It was because you activated it, and I didn't see it was a check mark that I could do. Okay, so let's do this. Third action, short bow. Let's launch this bad boy. Oh, Damn, nice. 20, that 20. is a hit. Go for Damn, it. Damn, not a critical though, huh? Not quite, not quite. That's gonna All be right. six piercing. Six, nice. Six piercing on, you targeted the, wait, the did zombie. you target the zombie? Oh. Yeah. Hold well, on it's because you yeah. have a dead skeleton underneath it, so it probably oh, didn't target oh, the zombie. My bad. Hold on, let me double check something then. Uh, double check the, okay. the AC. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, um, yeah. Actually, that is a critical hit. So we'll Yay! double that damage for twelve. Um, yeah, as you fire into this thing. Um, uh, let's see here. Da, 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 double damage. Uh, yeah, you like, you like fire into its knee, and it like kind of buckles a little bit. It's still standing, but it's like severely hampered. Like it looks like it could just fall over dead almost. Um, and I will say that as you shoot this though, you shoot the knee, you see as like this disgusting, um, like pustules and whatnot like explode out and uh this kind of gross fluid onto go kill um so go kill uh go oh, ahead what? and give me a fortitude save i'm trying to help you go kill and the gm doesn't want that <laughs> no, no, I see. Say no i uh i do like that um zombies and skeletons there's varying abilities that you can give them so i tried to give a little bit of variation uh so you guys could see um and uh da, 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 da. yeah so I'm gonna use a hero uh, point. Oh, oh, we okay. have hero points. Okay. I forgot about hero points. I always forget. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I yeah, roll my damage on my hero point. <laughs> Damn it. I rolled All right. it. Okay, I rolled it. I thought <laughs> no, I rolled no, this, is, this is good, though. Uh, yeah, so this, this like, pus and old goop and ugh, just gnarly fluid lands on you, but you're strong. Go kill. You don't let nothing bother you. It's not enough to sicken you. You're still good. Birdie eats worse. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. Um, that was a good hit and a good save there. Um, okay, next up is Clint. Uh, he'll say, uh, uh, save the save the hyena person, I guess. Uh, he'll rush in, and he's going to chop at the zombie with his longsword. Um, and that is going to be a hit for 18... And you notice that as he cuts into the flesh of this zombie, like the sword cuts through this rotten flesh like butter. Um, and it actually does uh, a lot more damage as he like just straight up like cuts it across the waist in half and it falls to the ground. Um, and then uh, I guess as he comes with that, he's gonna like try to bring the sword around and try to smack the skeleton. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, because it's on the ground. Uh, yeah, this is probably going to hit. Um, oh, just kidding. Yeah, he brings it down and he, he tried to be, like, add too much pinaz to it. Ends up bringing down the longsword, like, to the left of the skeleton and has to, like, yank it out of the dirt. Uh, that's all Clint can do. Uh, Zatari, she'll rush in, try to help. Uh, she's going to try to bring down the skeleton. She'll do her little stabby stab uh, with that, and that's going to be a critical miss. Uh, she'll try to do another one. Um, and that is also a miss. Uh, actually, oh, sorry. The first one was a miss. second one was a critical miss. Uh, okay, yeah, so it wasn't super helpful. Nice try, though, Zatari. Uh, but they are feeling much more confident as you guys take more and more of these things down. 
uh, Gimbal's like, hey, I'll show you. And uh, he's going to try to, you know, stab her with a short sword again, the zombie. And uh, let's see here. That's uh, going to be a hit for uh, 14. That is going to do uh, six piercing damage. Um, and yeah, he actually like stabs it in the, I don't know, the throat and kind of like tries to wiggle his sword out and it like falls on top of him kind of, but he's able to like push it off to the side. Um, and he'll say, did you, did you see that Cortash? And, uh, he'll use his last action, I guess, to try to run in. Let's, let's help him finish these off. And that's all he'll do. Um, and, uh, Gortash, uh... Well, Limbo's gonna call out to Gortash. It's like, yeah. you, you should get behind me, Gortash! I, you so happen with that skeleton! And it's gonna be up to him to... Oh, he okay, to be. okay. Uh, really quick, Grizz, how, how are you doing on time? Uh, are you... Or would we gotta... It'd be good to head off? Yeah, okay, yeah. So, uh, we will... Oh, go ahead. Oh. I was gonna say if you want to finish the combat, we can. If everybody else is okay, but I, it doesn't matter to me. Up to you. Everyone, everyone okay? Yay, nay. Yeah, uh, we got there. two skeletons left. Okay, cool. Yeah, Gortash will say, "Oh, uh, yeah." He kind of like holds his neck a little bit, like still kind of bleeding, um, and he will move over behind you, and he will ready in action to attack uh, anything that comes in range of him. Um, all right, uh, go kill. You are up. I'm gonna target this unharmed skeleton with my club. That's nice. Cool. Bring down the club for 21 to hit. Oh, that is a hit. Give me that damage. Up 10. Oh my damage. god. Uh, yeah, so you bring this down. Oh, it should have added the extra damage, but oh, I don't know. It's just not resistant to that. Yeah, you bring it down. You literally like just bring this club straight down and just like smash this thing down into the dirt as the bones just blow out everywhere, but not a, with enough force to actually stab anybody. <laughs> and then we'll do second action attack on the prone one. Uh, that's oh. 11, unfortunately. Yeah, just barely. Um, it kind of like, it looks up, just kind of wiggles a little bit and just barely manages to dodge the club. All right, then, I mean, we're do, well, we might as well do all three. That's like a 10 out of time. Oh yeah, you're like playing whack-a-mole over here trying to smack this thing and it's just <laughs> jerking around too violently. Um, okay, uh, so next up is the Skelly, and you know what? It's, uh, it's gonna bite your ankles, um, and, uh, it's gonna try to, yeah, it's gonna try to bite down on you. Uh, that is a, uh, oh yeah, it's worse because it's prone to, yeah, I'll try to do that. Uh, we'll say that it'll try to pull you down with it, so it'll try to trip you. Um, and, uh, that is going to be a failure. You are too strong as you kick it away, and it's going to use its last action to stand up. Um, okay, and that is that. Uh, you are up, Jones. Oh, Jimmy oh whoops, sorry. Let me pull back. Um, okay, I'll, uh, I'll put my hand back on my crossbow and, uh, going to strategium that skeleton please please okay uh, that looks good enough to me so then i'm I gonna thank god <laughs> i'm gonna fire at the skelly boy all right uh, ready aim fire nice for 21 go ahead and give me that damage because that's a hit Oh, plus your strategic strike. Okay. So yeah, uh, with sneak attack and strategic strike stuff, it does, it's like your type of damage, um, like it continues it. So since your crossbow is piercing, the strategic strike is piercing. Um, so yeah, it's a total of seven piercing damage, uh, which I believe gets reduced down to three. Uh, two actually yeah two um so you fire uh, off this crossbow bolt looking for a weak spot 
and uh, you manage to put one like straight through the eye socket and the arrow head is like literally poking out the other side but it is still standing okay and uh as it as he gets hit in the eye socket it knocks his head back far enough to cause him to be off foot what's that called off off guard, oh, off guard. Off yeah guard. Um, whatever it's called yeah because i uh, yes. now have the shared stratagem um he's off guard for uh who's getting mm, the core next I, I think okay. is, don't i designate an ally i think i designate an ally um yeah, the creature hit ally. is off guard yeah designated ally yep yeah so we'll say for core okay yeah awesome uh sweet good shot uh limbo you're up all right, she will use battle medicine on Goresh to try nice. to quickly treat I forgot me. you took yeah. that. Uh, where yeah, it was yeah. between me and Genj, and Genj said that they were like he was already going to take it, so I went with crafting. So 18 success for 13 healing. Nice. Oh my god. That and is then, a huge uh, heal. This battle menace is one action, two action will div I'm not divide. Oh wait, battle medicine uh is is it not? Is it yes. just one action? Yes, it says one action. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Battle I'm medicine is administer. literally yeah. you just take your tools out and heal them real quick and get yeah, out. It doesn't remove the wounded condition though. No, so yeah. it doesn't okay, do that okay. and they are immune to uh treat battle wounds for an hour or a day yeah. well they're they're mute yeah oh yeah they're immune for a day battle medicine for a day okay cool sorry i was getting mixed up with administer first aid um okay cool yeah uh sweet she's going to do needle darts at this skelly Ooh, nice two actions needle darts okay uh we'll just do regular um let's say she got it from her star knife we will yeah, attack. yeah. There's like a little bit of extra spikies on there that you can really like cool channel it. Let's go. Oh, nice! Eight. A crit to go for it. Roll damage. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Um. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's for a total of 14 damage. Then, um, target takes double damage and one bleed damage. Um. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, I, I don't I don't think this will actually do anything, but I'm going to do it anyways. All you right. you uh, fire off this spell and it is a critical hit. The skeleton is going to use its reaction to collapse in a pile of bones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so it this only piece of normal, shit. It'll only take normal damage, but it does. It's still enough damage. It like tries to collapse away from this, but the power of this magic. Uh, go ahead and tell me how uh, this wipes him out. Uh, you see Limbo quickly bring up her star knife and almost like just like shooting stars, like a disc of some sorts. She sends out a few three darts, maybe at the skeleton. Mm -hmm. And as the darts are flying, the skeleton collapses and then the darts just end up hitting the skull, bursting it. Nice, nice. And with that, uh, you guys have defeated at least the most readily apparent undead that you can see in the graveyard. Uh, so we will end that combat there and exit initiative as uh, you guys are undead slayers. Um, and we will pick up uh, where that left off next time. Um, because, you know, we still have a whole town of things going on. Um, but until then, uh, let's keep making stories together. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.